I'm back with another video. Today we have Kick's Darkest Secret has just been exposed. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Own creators that they signed themselves are leaving the platform to go back to Twitch. That's the equivalent of getting cheated on by your ex, getting a new girlfriend, realizing that she is worse, and going back to the ex that cheated on you. The same dudes that were screaming F Twitch are the same dudes saying F Kick after spending some time on their platform. And I don't blame them. A few weeks ago, the streamer Bruce Rob Moff, one of the bigger signings on Kick, left Kick to go back to Twitch, and this is what he had to say about the platform as a whole. Worse side being on kick for the year i'm not gonna lie to you it's the worst time i've ever had in streaming the beginning was cool but i learned so much behind the scenes from like being behind the scenes <laughs> the beginning was cool <laughs> the check was cool <laughs> got into that shit that shit was trash huh annoying shit, and it just kind of fucked up my love for streaming being on that site if i'm being honest with you because i got lazy and yeah you know probably seen the number that I was making an hour. I ain't gonna say if it's true or not because that ain't none of y'all goddamn business. But you know what I'm saying? It, it killed my motivation for it because it, it was no creativity within it. It's just do the craziest shit or you're lame. Or it's like go outside and argue with a, with a, with a n or you're lame. <laughs> or suck a dick on stream or you're quilly. And what he's saying makes sense because I mean, when you hear about kick, it's always something negative. I know this is high from the video, but I'm looking like, no, no, this man ain't got my headphone. He got my headphone. Oh, man. Let's continue. Slash crazy. Last month, you literally had to do drinking, driving, and speeding all for content. Since when was committing a felony content? That is insane. Hey, yo, bro, I got the craziest idea. Let's drink some Smirnoff, drive, and speed all on the freeway, live on kick. What you thinking? Dog, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds amazing. I'm grabbing the camera right now. Then you also got the Super Pedo Bros running a two-man with a young girl. Like, the side as a whole is just hot garbage, and I honestly don't blame Bruce for leaving the website. You would think that kick would get better by now because it's been through so much but it's the complete opposite kick just gets worse and worse each and every month kick is so bad that recently an ex kick staff member released a video basically exposing the whole company one of the claims she made i seen some of that video she said they was using the f word towards a group of people for no reason and that's messed up for the people that's attracted to their own sex, but they don't identify with that community because they feel like the foundation is fucked up and it's an agenda behind it, which you very well may be right. So shout out to y'all, the ones that feel like, yo, you born this way, you live in your truth, but you won't agree with teaching the kids that in school and all the crazy shit they trying to implement and desensitize people and make it the norm. So shout out to y'all, y'all get a bad, bad rap. They put y'all all in the category with them people. And a lot of you don't even like them or identify with it. You feel like it's something to that and you you want or something. But yeah, they was just using the F word with the intent behind it. Like the, in a professional setting, well, at least it's supposed to be professional. They using the N word with the ER. I hope you know that buddy, whoever is using that word. You weak as hell. And John Jones ain't the only John Jones. It's a, it's a bunch of them. I'm one. I'll whoop your ass so bad you will never recover. But at the same time, I'm all for freedom of speech. Say what you want. I give everybody the same benefit of the doubt. The love, the mercy is in a warning. Just don't get in my personal space because if you do, I'm going to tell them I was in fear of my life. I'm going to beat your ass so bad. I promise you, you won't recover. Your limbs won't grow back that bad. Like, But yeah, it's crazy. Like... If you won't say that word, at least be out and open it about it. It's like you being a, you know, like a KK member, how they got the cloak on. They don't want to know, but they the politicians, they the judges in, in these positions, but they hide in themselves. The Black Panther pop out, showing face. You know who they is. We ain't never been no cowards. You coward bullies. Imagine saying that the, the N word with the ER, you got to be lame as hell. And you can't beat none of us. You weak. I'm like they doing that in the office there at kick somebody need their ass kicked but let's continue
fact was that kick has a terrible workplace environment lots of disrespect towards people's opinions hostile and they just straight up drop a lot of slurs in office some of those slurs being the n-word with the hard r and the word that starts with an f that rhymes with maggot there was just a consistent disrespect to other people's opinions and beliefs um and this went as far as to just consistently hearing the f slur and not even just in jest like as a joke it was specifically you know targeted towards people that it was supposed to discriminate with the intent behind it like that's crazy shout out to what she said her name was marissa melissa or was it Mer it was one up shout out to melissa shout out to you melissa against even so much as to walk past the socials room the guys that run the you know kick streaming and kick community and hear the n-word just dropped hard r and i'm like what is this office how and, and they, they had the executive like the the upper management was in the room i'm not surprised though because i mean when you look he just took my words no i'm not surprised what do i tell you guys all the time in my videos i put emphasis on it because we we seem to have this veil up of oh we in a new day age and era let's all get along we're not in a new day age and era you want to know how their forefathers that did what they did to your ancestors it's still in you through epigenetic trauma it's still in them through epigenetic memory of one that verbally abuse you and even act out them ways and them still they still benefiting off of the convenience of a group of people's ignorance, being indigenous and aboriginal. Yet you don't know thyself. You still going with black, which is void of color, or African American. That's two different continents. They don't call nobody else on the planet two different continents. You gotta be a super dumbass. I don't care what your GPA is. I don't care if you was valedictorian. Now nine times out of ten, you was va you was vaccinated. With, with you ain't too smart, buddy. So I'm not surprised. I say this all the time. Them people that did the craziest things you ever heard of in history, they ain't went nowhere. They had kids. They grew up in them same households where that was okay to use these words and being conditioned and molded into a way that ain't went nowhere. They still, they, they everywhere. They in all places and power and positions, yeah, in positions of power. They ain't went nowhere. Yeah, they cowards and they hide about it. They try to save face. Some of them in the heat of the moment, they issue out a tweet. They cool down and somebody, they PR or whoever hitting them up, like you need to delete that. Then the heat is on. Then they tweet in the leaders at that point. When they really felt that way, they what they said. They just do everything to save face. But life in general, since the 48 Laws of Power back in when it came to defending empires and controlling public perception, it's a perception and propaganda game. Everything is that. Everything is perception and propaganda game. So, yeah, these people ain't went nowhere. I've been through they with some of those. Them just the ones, them just the, that's just what you heard. It's things that you have yet to hear that's in other corporations as well, whether it's Twitch or rather this platform I'm on. They everywhere. They ain't went nowhere, guy. Just because they letting Kai be whatever he is right now. Not to say he ain't talented as hell. He, yeah, he can be bigger though. So it's like, yeah, they gonna give you a little bit of juice or whatever so you can think we in a new day age and era. No much haven't changed but let's continue look at the streamers on the platform they do the exact same thing and they don't even get banned for it thank you those order screens are so unhygienic all right well i seen this you probably haven't had food in six days Hi, we're Visible, the wireless company that makes things visible. With us, what you see is what... So I'm not surprised that... He fucked up. Look at his body language. He knew he didn't messed up. I know, I know human nature. I know psychology, and I know you have default settings, and I know you don't know how to change your settings. He tried to lie and say he said something else. You clearly said if you're going to say it, stand on it. And then I can respect you if you voice your amendment, your amendment, your opinion, how you feel. Just do that. Stop worrying about the, the metaphorical KKK cloaks. Just pop out. The Black Panthers, they popped out. They showing you face. I'm showing you face. Just don't be a pussy about it. When you do that, zero respect for you. Even though you can't beat us, it doesn't matter. But let's continue. You probably haven't had food in six days. You fucking... <laughs> <laughs> 
so i'm not surprised that the staff are also allegedly doing it as well another thing she said in the video was that kick sent her a cease and desist letter and they also lied on her name because she claimed that she quit yet kick was telling everyone that she actually got fired another reason why she said the workplace as a whole was terrible was because every second week she needed to work at home for a few hours to drop off and pick up her daughter from school because she didn't have anyone else to do that for her so she had to do it herself and kick told her that she couldn't have flexible working arrangements after some time and they were basically saying that she has to either pick between her daughter or this dookie website which that's absolutely insane because most jobs will allow you to make those arrangements but like i said i'm not really that surprised because i mean kick themselves they don't really care about their platform so what makes you think they're going to care about the workplace environment like let's be real here another thing she stated in the video was that some people at kick were actually bragging about lowering a special needs streamer's contract and she never said i was just finna talk about that talking about we can give this this streamer with a disability the following amount for whatever reasons and this person may think they're on the verge of passing and they want to leave their they might want to leave their family behind some money like <sighs> everything you heard of recorded history even what wasn't recorded they ain't went nowhere them same descendants are still here with that same embodiment, that same archetype, that same energy, the same degenerates, the same cowards, same bullies, but in a cowardistic way. It's not. They ain't went nowhere, man. That's the reality of things. I'm here to tear down the veil of you making it, you thinking, oh, Kai did that. We can do that, too. And ah, that's not it. It's an anomaly for real damn near. It's different. Even though it's a new age of kids coming up, so and they like. That programming is changing and shifting. And the ones that already got the installation of they look at you a tight way or whatever, they just need to go and dial and then it will be a YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's continue said who this streamer was but what she did say is that this special needs streamer was cooler with one of the bigger kick streamers and if you put two and two together you get jake future who is a streamer with special needs who streams on kick and he hangs around aiden ross one of the bigger streamers on kick and what's crazy is that jake future actually put out a tweet after this saying that kick never lowered his deal and if i'm being honest here this just seems like some damage control because i mean we got to keep in mind this man is on a kick contract has how do you how is he he's saying everything i'm about to say before i say it i literally picked up the resonance through the screen from a tweet somebody literally got on his and typed it or told him to do it it may be impressionable he went for it, it don't nah it's something there again you just try to send a cease and desist well you did to melissa a cease and desist is for hoes can't listen to lies that come out of your mouth like you you a shit kicking silly wanker. You a liar, colonizer. We ain't, you, you're lying already. You're saying you fired her. She quit because you was that terrible. We don't believe anything you got to say, buddy. But let's continue and he's getting paid hourly on the platform so why would he want to make the platform look bad i think that that man put that tweet out just to like play damage I do control too. you know another thing she claimed in the video was that kick was also trying to get this twitch streamer who had cancer over to kick and one of kick's strategies to get that twitch streamer over to kick was to utilize their cancer we were talking about the fact that they were trying to get a uh, a, a very beloved twitch streamer over to kick to stream stakes as well on. and just for context this particular stream had been uh, publicly battling cancer recently so they decided to utilize that um, in their strategy to get this person over the conversation very quickly became quite sinister I'm gonna say a quote and something that I cannot get out of my head because it's so heinous to a me quote. and I think it will speak volumes in you know the type of Let's characters see. that that work there um, which is why I just I had to get out the quote that I remember hearing was we can get her on kick streaming steak for a relatively low price because she probably thinks she's gonna die soon and she'll want to leave more money for her family when i heard that i actually 
was surprised. I looked, sort of looked up in surprise. And everybody else was sort of looking at this person that was speaking and just being like, yeah, you know, that's true. Let's go with that. Like, I think we can get this person. That is an insane strategy. That That's absolutely wild. That's she disgusting. never said the streamer, but she used words like her and she. So I'm going to assume that the streamer was probably a girl. Some people suspected that the streamer that she was talking about was Kaede because Kaede is a streamer who's also a woman who also was publicly battling cancer. But XQC, a streamer who streams on Kick and Twitter, which quickly shut that down, claiming that there was no communication between Kaide and Kick. The Kaide clip was awful too. What Kaide clip? Well, I mean, well, I mean, it's awful. I I asked. There was no communication done to Kaide Everyone from Kick or Stake. But Kaide later came out saying that she got an offer from Kick, but she decided to decline because the offer didn't align with her morals. I got an offer from Kick and I declined it. I decided that morally I didn't really want to go though, over eh? to Kick. And even if they they did yeah, try to exploit me for my cancer, um, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna take it. I thought it was weird. Another thing that she stated in this video was that she had to fight tooth and nail to get the kick streamer Just Snags banned. And if you don't know who that is, well, he was basically a streamer who'd say these weird and obnoxious things while live to basically clip farm. I might take my security's gun off his hip and just shoot somebody. First nigga I see. I don't care if he's 7, 8, 10. I don't care if he's fucking 30, 40, 60. I I'm clapping a nigga broad daylight. I might go to jail for the rest of my life today, like for a viral clip. You know me, nigga. And he would even say these things to young girls. You 14, 14. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that what grade is that? Like a sophomore? Eighth grade. Sophomore. Eighth grade. Sophomore. Can I play with that? Sophomore is like 16. What? Can I play with that little eighth grade pussy? Can I play with that little eighth grade pussy? Can I play with that little eighth grade pussy? And then he eventually got banned and said he was going to beat on Eddie and his wife. And if you don't know who Eddie is, that is one of the owners of Kick. Eddie, free me on Kick. I'm going to come to Australia and beat on you. Word of my Clout is that bad of a drug. That's, bro, that's, I know you're trying to entertain the people, but that is crazy. And you got that from them. That ain't. Fill in the blanks. You got that from them, but. If I'm over there, I'm jumping. Like Mario, I'm jumping off your bonnet. 360 no scope. And I'm going to get a ping and send you back to the loading screen with no materials. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You can't, you can't start doing that, man. You know who do that. And you doing it, too. Clout, clout, clout. I'm going to beat on you and your wife. Eddie, fuck your wife now. You got me mad, you know what I'm doing? Now I'm going to say fuck your wife. Fuck nigga. The man as a whole was just a weirdo. Another streamer that she had to also fight tooth and nail to ban was this one 11-year-old streamer on the platform. And yes, you heard that correctly. An 11-year-old streamer. Basically, there was a staff member promoting this 11-year-old kick streamer on Twitter while the age to stream on kick is literally 13. And the reason she knew that this kid was 11 was because she checked his Facebook page. And I'm actually taking a peek at this right now and it looks like this man just turned 11 june 1st that is crazy and what's even crazier is that this man got unbanned and he streamed two hours ago like kick let the man off the hook whole time this man is literally going against their tos their tos literally says that you got to be 13 years old yet this man is streaming at 11 years old it makes no sense at all i don't think kick knows that if they make these rules they gotta enforce them as well especially he's he just turned 11 years. Hold on. Am I tripping? Or did he just turn, whatever age he just turned? I think he said 11. So who is in the chat for him to have a deal and be big enough to get banned and unbanned and all that? He got enough eyes on him. Who was all in his stream watching him? I'm going to think of some kids in there as well. And I think some little hat wearing motherfuckers in there as well. They are everywhere. They, they, they into that. You already fell in the blanks. I ain't even got to say much. When it comes to an 11 year old streaming, if the age says 13 and this kid is 11, ban him. Like, what the heck? I personally think that 11 years old is too young to stream, especially on kick. But yeah, those are like some of the key points in the video. If you want to check out the full video, I'm going to link it in the description. If I'm being real, I believe a majority of it because I mean, when you look at what goes on on the platform of kick, these claims that she's making, like, they're not too far off. Obviously, some of these things we need evidence for, but at the same time, like, bro, when you look at 
kick and you look at what goes on on the platform they legit let these pedos run wild on that platform zerka and heel mike were making pedo jokes all the time i'm a pedophile i'm crazy <laughs> i'm horny for some babies you had dudes freaking drinking and driving all this stuff that she's saying is not <laughs> yeah i'm sorry that ain't even funny that's not funny i swear it's not funny bro <laughs> that guy's an asshole let's continue not too hard to believe if i'm being completely honest like just look at the platform look at the people running it and just listen to the things she's saying i honestly think she's probably right like let's be real overall i think there's really no coming back for the website of kick itself because i mean it's literally known for having a bad reputation and there's no way to like fix the reputation you know from the jump people were just doing these wild things because i mean it was twitch with no tos but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made it this far i appreciate you if you guys enjoyed this video well that's it for this video don't forget to like the video if you like the video comment share subscribe turn on post notifications DM me the link via x formerly known as twitter let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about you about to get a kick out of this one follow me on twitch kick and rumble I ain't putting all my eggs in one basket. I'm, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and it's for me. It's not for the corporations. I'm build, doing my own thing. But follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I hit your ass with an overhand and knock you out. Again, this was all for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park. Yeah, us versus them, and I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.